Hello, today's presentation is a continuation of the fuel storage tank part 3. Of course, we are going to work on the tank rooftop walkway. Let's kick off right away. I'm Morris Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. We'll go straight to rotate with mouse under view. It's so far how much we've gone. And we'll go step by step till we get to the very end of this. Now, we'll start it off from here. We'll come to steel. Uh, steel beam. Pick curved beam. We'll snap at this very end. And uh, pick the midpoint there. And run all the way to this end and snap it here. Perfect. You can see that. This is what we've come up with. Now we want to convert this to a plate to act as the floor of our walk way at the rooftop. Now we'll double click on this. We'll come to select under attributes and again beam properties. We'll come here and, and type PLT which means plate. We need the span of the, of the walkway to be one meter. We'll type one meter times the thickness of the plate. Of course, it will be a checkered plate. And uh, we'll type, we'll give it, uh, this will come to 20 mm, which is so big. 12 will work better. Now we'll click modify and apply that. Double click to increase the segments of the curve. We'll give it a thousand to make it make have a, a smooth curve. You can click and rotate this and have a look at that. It's flashing at a zero zero point with this plate. We need to give it a slight offset from this. Just click, right click and click move and snap on top here. And direct it down here. Type 50 millimeter and click OK. Come to navigate, click rotate with mouse and rotate this. Perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Our next move with this is this. We'll come to edit. We'll come to points. Any position. We'll pick the midpoint there. We need a midpoint here. Right there. Come all the way here. Right there. Let's assume that's the midpoint. Click this. Right click copy. From there and just direct your cursor there, place it there and don't click. Type 200 or 100 will be OK. 100 is OK and click OK. So 
same thing we'll do here we come to edit and click here just place your cursor at the bottom of this or, or top here and type 100 and click OK that's all now we want to copy this right click copy from this spot to the middle point of this come to view and navigate rotate the mouse pick the point to rotate your, your model about so this point is wrong we'll remove that click this right click click copy from this spot to this spot exactly that come to navigate rotate this now we want to create a supporting member here we'll come to steel beam we'll click this and snap it here If it can't snap on that, press Ctrl 2 and we'll just snap on it straight away. Press Ctrl 4. It's taking this profile and curve because we initially did this. Now it, it is defaulting on this. To change that, just double click, come to position and bring all this to zero. We click OK. Then go back to attributes, click select. And we want to change this member to angled profile that is RSA it's here we'll give it 75 75 by 50 by 8 millimeter thick apply and accept that come to view under navigation or under navigate rotate with mouse we can use a different color for this click this press control and click this we'll come to this cube click that and I click that and give it a different color And give it that click that come to this cube click that click that down arrow and give it five class not responding it has to respond come to this five five bit five we leave it that no problem click that Navigate, trade with mouse. Come there and applications and command type rad. Click that. Double click on that. Angle 12. And we need. 32 of that Up, modify apply and accept 
we'll pick the member to to be copied around we'll switch to and prior to doing this we need to reorient our we need to reorient our axis now it's it's on top here we need it to come down we come to view and the view work plane tool we just place it there and we switch back and we switch back to our view now we'll double click on that once we apply and accept all this we'll pick on the part we want to rotate or to copy and press the middle button on the mouse and come right in the middle here come right in the middle let's, let's zoom closer midpoint not found you hear that press control 2 and zoom out we'll click on this modify apply and accept pick on the part to be copied and press your middle button let's zoom in let's zoom in again till we hit the midpoint of that now we, well, we want to get the x-axis x-axis is that and the y-axis is this we'll press the middle button and we'll zoom out after switching back to that view now press control 4 to bring back the initial view this is what we have at the moment we will explode this Click this and explode. Rotated mouse. And do that. Click that. Right click. We will wind up here today and uh, proceed on the part three on the part four of this presentation amor dimba let's meet on then and uh, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel